hello everyone welcome to another java session so in this video we will discuss about another important topic in object oriented programming which is abstraction so we will discuss what is abstraction how we can achieve it with some real world examples as well so without any further delay let's start so what exactly is abstraction Exposing only the essential details and hiding the internal implementation is known as abstraction. For example, a mobile phone user is not exposed how internally it is working, but they have been exposed to the features like how to make a call or send an SMS using keypad. To understand it better, let's consider another real life example of a driver in a car. That driver knows that pressing an accelerator will increase the speed of the car or applying brakes will stop the car. But driver does not know about how pressing an accelerator speed up the car actually and uh, how internally that mechanism of car is implemented. That hiding that specific implementation from the actual user is known as abstraction. In Java, abstraction is uh, achieved through abstract classes and interfaces. Before diving into hands-on, let's check the main characteristics of abstract components in Java. First one is abstract class is a class that is declared with an abstract keyword. We will declare the class as public abstract class and then the class name. Any class which is uh, declared abstract may or may not have uh, all the abstract methods. Some of the methods can be concrete. That means their implementation will be already present in the class. That is, if I declare a class abstract, it is possible that it may or may not contain any abstract method. So abstract method is a method where we do not uh, provide any implementation, only the method signature is available. And that method also we need to define with the abstract keyword. Any class which is inheriting or extending the abstract class must implement all the um, abstract method present in the parent class. In case the child class is not providing their own implementation of the abstract method, then that child class should be declared as abstract itself. Even though abstract class can have the parameterized or default constructors, but uh, it cannot be instantiated directly using the new operator. Now with all these basic details, now we are clear with. Now let's start with hands-on. Consider the example of this shape class. So suppose it can have uh, attribute color, which will be common for all the shapes and specific types of other shapes can be derived from it, which can have their own specific properties as well. And also they will share some behavior, which will be common uh, for the classes, but their implementation can be different. So in this case, suppose we have two abstract methods, which is calculating the area and uh, one is to print the details of the object. So here you can see how we are declaring this class as abstract. We are using public abstract class and then class name. So with this, the shape class is declared as abstract class. And in the abstract class, we have declared two abstract methods. So here you can see this method is declared as abstract to calculate the area using abstract keyword. It is returning double as a return type and we do not provide any implementation. So you can see there is no body for this specific method and same for the two string method as well. So whatever class which will be extending shape, they have to provide the implementation of area as well as two string. Now let's define two other methods also which we for which we have the implementation. One is uh, the normal constructor where we are setting the color and second one is to just get the color of the shape. Now let's create a specific shape circle which will be extending uh, the shape abstract class that we have uh, just created. So to do that we need just need to use the extends keyword and then shape. Now here you can see uh, it is giving me some compilation error because we have defined a constructor in the uh, shape class. So we have to create a constructor. So we will create that. Uh, additionally, we will have one uh, radius property which is uh, specific to circle and this is how we need to create the uh, 
constructor of this class so where uh, color is getting passed to the super class uh, which is uh, shape class because it will set the color and the radius will be set to the instance variable of uh, this radius but we can see still we are getting this compilation error why as discussed earlier also if uh, any child class which is extending uh, any abstract class it must provide implementation of the abstract methods so as we can see in our shape class we have couple of uh, abstract methods so how to provide the implementation uh, first one you can write it uh, manually itself uh, second is uh, uh, IDE will also provide you some uh, uh, mechanism to uh, have empty methods uh, method blocks where you can provide your own implementation so here you can see in the first option add unimplemented method and second is to make circle class abstract so if you do not provide uh, any implementation then you have to make the circle class abstract as well so here what we will do we will provide our own implementation of the methods so let's click on add unimplemented method and you can see it has already added two methods with add the rate override annotation on top of them now let's update both of these methods as per uh, circle because circle area will be pi r square so we will be using math dot uh, pi to get the pi value and uh, radius square and in the two string also we will print what all details that we have for circle and uh, color we will get from the uh, shape object <clears throat> so this is how it will look uh, in the area we are returning math dot pi this is how we can get the value of pi and after that multiplying it with radius two times and in the two string we are printing uh, we are returning that uh, circle of the color and color we are getting using the super keyword super is the keyword used to get uh, used to call the methods of parent class so here we are calling get color and after that we are printing radius and for area we are directly calling the area method here so similar to circle we can have other multiple shapes as well one more example is rectangle so in case of rectangle color will be the common property because we are extending shape but additionally rectangle what it will require uh, it will have length and width so in its own constructor we are setting those values and in the area you can see we can directly returning length into width that is actually area of the rectangle and in case of two string also we are uh, returning rectangle with the color uh, and value of the length width and calculated area for rectangle now in our main class let's try to create an object of a reference variable of shape and it is pointing to the object of circle so for circle we need to pass two parameters one is color of the shape and second one is radius now let's try to print the details of uh, this shape one object using two string methods so in two string what it will do it will print the color radius and the calculated area for circle let's try to run this program and we can see in the console we have color uh, circle of color blue that we have passed radius is 7 and area is pi r square so that calculated area value is also printed similar to this let's create another uh, reference variable of shape but this time let's uh, point it to the rectangle objects so for rectangle object we need to provide three parameters color length and width so let's try to uh, print the value of shape 2 as well using two string method so if i run this program we can see the second uh, print statement is rectangle of color yellow which we have passed length is 6 width is 3 and area is length into width which is 18. so this is how abstraction is implemented in java another query is like when we need to use the abstract classes so sometimes we will want to create super class that only defines a generalization form like uh, the shapes can have area in this case but uh, we do not want to provide any implementation and it will be shared across all the subclasses whatever class which is implementing shape they will have the property of area so in that case we are leaving uh, the implementation of those specific behaviors to the subclass so that they can provide their own implementation 
So in such scenarios, we can make use of abstraction. So uh, this is one of the way to uh, achieve the abstraction using abstract classes. In our uh, uh, next few tutorials, we will discuss about the other ways of uh, achieving the abstraction using interfaces. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please like, share and comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.